There is a whole universe to explore, and us humans are always learning more and more about it. Fascinating new discoveries are not rare, but chances are you have not heard of them all. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting discoveries. Radioactive tomb in the Pacific filled with nuclear waste is starting to crack. The Marshall Islands are home to the largest amount of nuclear toxic waste ever forced upon another country by the United States. These islands, 5,000 miles west of Los Angeles, were viewed as isolated, unimportant, and perfect for a radioactive testing program run by the US. From 1946 to 1958, the United States set off a total of 67 radioactive tests over the islands. This caused, of course, significant damage to the local area and forced hundreds to relocate. Later, the United States organized a cleanup of contaminated soil on Enewetak Atoll. It was at Atoll where the majority of weapons tests occurred. Between 1977 and 1980, about 4,000 US servicemen deposited 35 Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of toxic waste into a crater called the Runit Dome, or, as the locals call it, the tomb. Only three of Enewatak Atoll's 40 islands are currently habitable, and the island hosting the tomb is not one. Today, 650 people live in the atoll, but that may soon change. The Runit Dome was sealed on top. It was never lined on the bottom. Now, Rising tides threaten to crack open the tomb, providing an escape for the 3.1 million cubic feet of radioactive waste residing inside. While the US Department of Energy has cleared residents to move back into other parts of Enewatak, locals are suspicious of the message. After all, the cracking tomb contains an abundance of dangerous carcinogen. Climate change is likely responsible for the rising seas. The water in the area has climbed 7 mm every year since 1993. Storm surges and flooding are now more common, the force of which threatens to crack open the tomb. It certainly sounds like bad news, but not all scientists are worried. Toxins already exist in all that we eat and drink, so residents may not face dangers unless they inhale the waste. Still, scientists are working to truly understand the effects of these toxins on the islands. US officials have so far declined to provide additional assistance to the Marshall Islands, stating the Marshallese government now has the authority over the dome. Yet, recent studies show that toxin levels in certain spots of the Enewatak Atoll rivals those of Chernobyl. Additionally, it has been found that the United States government withheld crucial information about the dome prior to the signing of a compact in 1986 that released the United States government of further liability. These discoveries may help Marshallese officials challenge the compact, which is set to be renegotiated in 2023. It may also help pressure the US to honor the orders of an international tribunal. So far, the US has paid $4 million of the $2.3 billion in property and health claims established by the tribunal. It seems likely that damage to the tomb will progress, and if so, any adverse effects will ultimately be revealed. At that time, it will become clear if the United States is truly willing to intervene any more than it already has. Until then, residents of the Marshall Islands must keep playing a frightening waiting game. Scientists confused as Firework Galaxy is exploding Scientists witnessed an explosion in the Fireworks Galaxy, or NGC 6946, for the first time in 1917. But since then, astronomers have observed almost a dozen stellar explosions in the galaxy, which is 25.2 million light-years away from Earth. Until recently, it seemed these explosions were typical supernovas, which are stellar explosions that cause stars to lose most of their mass and lead to a sudden increase in brightness. In 2019, however, scientists detected a suspicious energetic blast in the galaxy 
thanks to an X-ray from NASA's Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array that showed a peculiar blotch of green light. This indicated a blast far more energetic than what is expected from a supernova. The blast also appeared in the fireworks galaxy for only 10 days, while supernovas can take hundreds of days to fade. Scientists are still unsure what prompted this mysterious blast, but they suspect the answer involves the impacts of a black hole or neutron star on a neighboring stellar object. Despite their name, black holes have a glow along their outer edges due to intense radiation in the event that a nearby object is drawn into the black hole's orbit. Therefore, the green burst of light shown on the X-ray may come from a black hole that pulled in a nearby star. The gravitational force of the black hole would shred the star, causing debris to orbit near the black hole. This rotating debris would likely spin fast enough to generate intense heat, making the debris hundreds of times hotter than our sun. This would cause the flash of radiation shown on the X-ray before the debris was fully sucked into the black hole. Neutron stars are created when a supergiant star runs out of fuel, causing the core to collapse and crushing all protons and electrons into neutrons. This makes neutron stars one of the smallest and densest celestial objects. The gravitational pull of a neutron star is billions of times stronger than the Earth's. Typically, neutron stars spin so fast that any nearby debris is prevented from ever reaching the surface. However, it is possible that a wobble in the star's magnetic field can slow down the rotation, allowing debris to be pulled in and possibly creating the sudden blast shown in the X-ray. If a neutron star is the true explanation for the radiation flash, there will likely be another wobble in the future that causes a similar blast. Scientists are on the lookout for related occurrences and hope to learn just how explosive the fireworks galaxy truly is. The Bortese Void While it is exciting to imagine the universe as a vast, bright expanse lit by stars and other celestial objects, that is not always the case. 700 million light-years away from Earth is a large, spherical region of space with very few galaxies. This is the Bortes Void, and it is exciting in a much darker way. The sphere, which is about 330 million light-years wide, is large enough to hold billions of Milky Ways, yet there is hardly any galaxies to be seen. It was discovered in 1981 when Robert Kirshner and other astronomers were working to create a 3D map of the universe. Originally, the region was called the Great Nothing, but it was ultimately given the name the Bortes Void because it appears to lie in the Bortes constellation. The Bortes Void is not the only void in the universe. Galaxies exist in a web-like arrangement inside large, thread-like structures called filaments. Voids exist in between these filaments, and they make up about 80% of the observable universe. Typically, voids measure between 30 to 300 million light-years across. Bortes, however, is one of the largest, and it has even earned the title of Supervoid. Scientists have discovered only 60 galaxies in the Bortes Void. Based on the average distance between galaxies, the void should contain around 10,000 galaxies. According to astronomer Greg Aldering, if the Milky Way had been in the center of the Bortes Void, he wouldn't have known there was other galaxies until the 60s. Astronomers believe that voids are created due to random quantum fluctuations that occurred in the early days of the universe and led to small differences in the distribution of matter. In more dense areas, the gravitational pull was stronger, which forced matter away from less dense areas. This created a cycle that led to the areas becoming more and more dense, and eventually clumps of matter became galaxies. At the same time, voids were created as matter was pulled away from low-density areas. This process theoretically explains most of the voids, but it does not quite explain the size of supervoids like Bortes. Scientists are not convinced that gravitational forces alone could practically empty a space of that size. A new theory suggests that it is possible the supervoid is made of multiple smaller voids that have merged together. 
astronomer Gred Aldering observed tube-shaped galaxies inside the supervoid. He interpreted the tubes as representing previous boundaries between smaller voids. Although plausible explanations for the Bortes void exist, the supervoid has still challenged standard ideas of galaxy formation. Luckily, Bortes and other voids may help astronomers learn more about the origins of the universe. And, since the Bortes void is nearly a vacuum, it may one day present an opportunity for super-speed space travel. Perhaps the most important implication of the Bortes discovery is that it may prompt scientists to revise the Big Bang theory, as no one is quite sure how the existence of supervoids fits into our current ideas of gravity and quantum mechanics. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.